So the other day I had a massive craving for yogurt. When I jumped on Uber Eats, I realized that takeaway yogurt from a cafe is now over $16.50. If I wanna get ahead financially and have financial dependence plus freedom, this is not conducive to a positive financial outcome. So now I'm taking matters into my own hands. Here's how I'm stacking my way to becoming a millionaire. And you can too. So I'm a financial planner and creating my own financial independence and being able to retire early is really important. But at the same time, Snacking is my love language. In particular, muffins, cookies, acia bowls, fruit salads, and yogurt pots. That's my thing. That's what makes me feel happy. But now that they're charging $16 or more for a takeaway snack, uh-uh, that is not happening on my clock. So let me share with you how I make this super delicious, budget-friendly snack that actually is healthy and keeps me full all day long. All right, so we grab some yogurt. I prefer Greek yogurt. This one or the Chobani one is delicious. You can buy a big tub for around about $8.50. I then just put it in a bowl. And by the way, as another Greek frugal hack, try and get some takeaway containers so you can have this on the go. So Greek yogurt can be a little bit sour for some. So I like to just add a dot or drop of honey. Now, talking about investing. If I can swap this expensive habit of buying snacks all the time and instead be a little bit more organized and pack a snack for on the go and instead invest this money, I could potentially build up a $680,000 diversified share portfolio over the next 30 years. And that's just with foregoing this one habit that is spending money on snacks every day. All right, bear with me as I keep making this snack and I'll explain this investment strategy. Oh, and by the way, these are a must. They're from Coles. You buy a massive bag for $4.50. Don't go buying any gourmet granola these days. Frightfully expensive. This is the bomb. Anyway, if I can invest $1,000 upfront and I replace that habit of $16 a day on snacks, but replace that habit with investing $16 per day. And I take a set and forget strategy where I reinvest all of my dividends automatically. Oh, adding some berries, by the way, even more savings if you can find some frozen berries, but it happens to be on a special right now, $2.50 for blueberries and about $2.80 for a big punnet of strawberries. So I'm using fresh today, but remember, frozen is also really financially friendly. Gonna add them to the yogurt. Keep watching, keep listening. We're building investment portfolios while also building a healthy snack. So as I was saying, we reinvest everything, $16 per day invested, which works out to be roughly, call it $450 per month. And I start with initial $1,000. So we have $1,000 to kick start our investment portfolio. We are then having an investment plan of $16 per day because we now buy our snacks instead of spending money on snacks and eating our money away. And by the way, you can keep all other habits as per usual. This is just one habit we're replacing. Now, assuming that I earn 4% net per annum in dividends, those dividends also grow each year by 4% and I have 4% capital growth every single year on average. Oh, by the way, almond butter into your yogurt stack. It's delicious and also a great source of protein. So you feel fuller for longer. Anyway, as I was saying, we take a set and forget strategy, $1,000 upfront, $450 per month invested into this investment portfolio. Now, assuming a 4% dividend per annum, a 4% dividend growth per annum and a 4% net capital growth per annum over the next 30 years. Assuming that we reinvest everything, never spend a single dollar, that is never sell the portfolio. And we reinvest every single dividend 
for further compounding growth opportunities. In 30 years time, that investment portfolio should be worth approximately $680,000. Now, of course, these are the net returns. It doesn't take into consideration brokerage, taxes, and of course, those ongoing fees, as well as inflation. So always be careful. But this is the simple power of replacing one possibly toxic negative spending habit in your life that you don't really value and turning it into something that pays you back, giving you peace of mind well into the long run. And at the same time, learning how to make a delicious, financially friendly, healthy snack.